Welcome to Bite Size Spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at some of the hottest fidget spinners on the market. Now these fidget spinners are pretty cool. This is a Transformers one. This is a Marvel Captain America one. I got a Batman one here. Whether or not these are trademarked or in violation, nobody really knows, but they do look pretty cool, and we're gonna take a look at them. So here we go, we're gonna take a quick look at each one of these. This is the Captain America one. So this one is uh, an aluminum build. It has a pretty good feel. It's a little bit lightweight, and uh, when you spin it, you can actually kind of see the pattern moving depending on the angle you have it at. Now the Transformer one I have is a little bit heavier. Um, looks really cool. Has kind of like a brushed nickel feel to it. And uh, this one spins really well. I've gotten this one to spin for over five minutes. The Batman one I have, this is a little on the cheaper side. This is a lightweight plastic. This one only cost $5. Um, it did have LED lights, but they broke. Showing the uh, master quality of this import. And lastly, I just wanted to show this one. It's not really a superhero or a branded franchise, but has a really nice weight to it. This is by far the heaviest. And also this one I've gotten to spin for over six minutes, so it has a really good spin time. Now another cool thing about this one is you can actually take off these nubs so they screw off. So if you want to play with the weight balance or if you want to use it without any of those you can go ahead and do that. And overall it just has a really good feel to it. It's very heavy and it's solid metal. So I paid $18 for the Captain America one. I paid $20 for this metal one here. I paid $17 for the Transformer one and I paid $5 for the Batman knockoff. Now if I go ahead and spin these, I can pretty much guess which one is going to perform best, but let's take a look here. It's one, two. So the Batman one is by far the cheapest. It doesn't have a great bearing on it. You can see the Captain America one is buttery smooth as well as this one, and the Transformer one is pretty good as well. Now these have been going for about a minute and 20 seconds. And you can see the Batman one is already slowing down. I probably could have got that one to go about two minutes had I given it a slightly better spin, but you can see the quality is much, much lower than the other ones. And here we go. Now we're at two minutes and 30 seconds, and these three are actually still going really strong. So it's going to be a toss up as to which one performs best. I've had most success with the big one up on top maybe due to the weight. So here we are at four minutes. Now I'm actually really surprised this one actually came to a stop. I've had more success on previous spins with that one, but the Captain America and the Transformer one are still going pretty good. Looks like they're slowing down now. And the Captain America one has come to a stop at four minutes and 30 seconds. And the Transformer one's still going a little bit longer. And it looks like Transformers is maxing out at about 4 minutes and 48 seconds. So there you have it. If I had to recommend these, um, I would definitely recommend the Captain America one. It's a little lightweight, but it looks really cool, spins well. It's just a nice design. I'd also recommend the Transformer one. I really like the brush nickel look. And again, it's a solid metal design, so it feels really good in the hand. And this one I would definitely recommend. It's got a nice heavy feel in the hand. And I like the way that you can take these nubs off. Just has a really nice solid construction, solid metal feel. I'd really recommend this one. The Batman one, if you're a Batman fan, I would say go ahead. There's probably some better ones out there now that are of a metal construction, but this one had a very cheap plastic construction. It doesn't spin that well. And the lights also burned out, which I didn't like. So there we go. Let me know in the comments which one you like best, and let me know if there's any other ones you've seen out there that you'd like me to review. I'd be happy to go ahead and do that.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.